make a black gasser like uh, the Kroger big deal gasser so I bought some decals sorry about the lighting and I'm gonna paint me up a car and apply the decals now I know the gasser technically isn't black it's a, a metallic um, blue dark blue what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this body since it's already stripped and then I'm gonna use the base off this one or I might find a metal one on another project that I've got and put this base on there I don't know yet but um, we're gonna paint this sucker blue of some sort I'm gonna have to look and see what I've got um, I might have to make something or just see if I can go to the auto parts store and find something or just paint it black and be done with it in any case that's uh, the project of this video so let's get to it I only found two colors I got this color I got from the auto parts store um, it's a blue intense pearl blue I thought about using it to see if I could get that shimmery effect that the car has in it and also some gloss black. The two different types of paint, but I do this all the time. If it don't work, I'll strip it. So we're going to start with the blue and we're going to spray it into a cup and we'll go mix it with some black. I think it's close enough. I think it's close enough. Okay, this is what we got, y'all. Can you see the top? That's pretty good, don't it? It's kind of a bluish black with pearl in it. A lot of pearl, probably a lot more than I wanted, but you know what? We're going to go with that because I like it. Next step, we're going to paint the top white. So I'm going to tape off the top where I don't want to get any paint. I'm going to and uh, we're going to paint it white. Oh, by the way, after I um, <clears throat> painted this, stuck it in the toaster oven for about an hour on probably 150 degrees, and it turned out nice. So if you ever want to harden the paint really quick, throw your car in the toaster oven on low temperature. <laughs> so let me go ahead and tape this up, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, we've got the top painted white. And I wanted to try and get this blue in there. It's a pearlescent blackish blue, midnight blue. I don't know if you can see the blue in it. It looks black, but when the light hits it, you see the blue. Which is what I was hoping for. So next, I'm going to put the decals on this bad boy. And first I'm going to cover the birds. Then uh, we'll put the decals on, and we'll clear coat it. And we'll put it back together. As I said, we're back in a minute. Okay, it's time for assembly. We've got the the marker lights and the headlights colored in. Let me get you some light there. See? Headlights and marker lights on the front. Tail lights on the back. And I kind of drew in some door handles because the original model has them, but I guess my paint overfilled it or something. Uh, I don't have a license tag, as you can see. It should say 50FIVE, but... For whatever reason, second chance, Red Lions decided not to put them in the set. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that blank. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this bad boy together. We're going to use the smoke glass because, well, why not? And that's what I have. The um, actual glass that is in the original is kind of a yellowish tint, which I didn't care for anyway. And I think the smoke glass goes better with the black. And uh, I didn't do anything to the interior of the engine. So we're going to put that back in there. And then we got a metal base, y'all. It was off of another custom. I think it was the uh, purple one of these. If you remember the big deal gasser from the uh, drag series. That the, the 50th uh, favorites series. Um, the exact opposite of this one. It's the original wheels from it and everything. And uh, I watched the Lamley group video and the bases are the same. Wheels are the same. So that matches up. The only thing that I possibly could do might be to paint the fuel tank in the front orange with some uh, black stripes. But uh, I didn't feel like putting in the detail work for that. I have a candy striper that I did that to. It's not original. But, um, I think I put screws in backwards. Let's see. That's a short screw. Yeah, I think this one's longer. Longer one goes in the back, short one goes in the front. A little bit longer. Gotta be careful not to go through the radiator. I'll show you the candy striper. I have it over here. It was uh, also made from uh, that particular try me uh, big deal gasser. Not the try me, but the big deal gasser. I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty good. Could it have been more perfect? Yes. Is it? No. Doesn't have the license tag. Disappointed about that. And it being black, I couldn't make it myself because I don't print in white ink. But I like it. I can see the blue in it. It looks black. And it's uh, pearlescent. I'll get you some shots out in the sun so you can see it better. Here's the uh, candy striper I made. And as you can see, I painted the, the little gas tank in the front right there. I painted it orange with the black stripes. Which is actually reminiscent of the uh, Flying Tiger Gasser. I did some details on the motor. I painted the exhaust black. Um, the stripes on top I made myself. I painted the top white. Printed out stripes and put them on there. The rest of the decals come from I think Second Chance Red Lines as well. This one came with the, the uh, license tag in the back. And the uh, pinstripes. The windshield I made because the windshield that was in here, if you remember, was also yellow. 
and I don't care for the yellow. So anyway, 